Hey guys, Aubrey here with Ethereum Motorsports. Um, doing a review of the Electro YZ here. So, um, I've got, uh, you have to excuse the squeaky boots. Um, I've got about uh, three, um, I gotta say maybe four months uh, of time now on this. Um, we could actually check and see what the, what's on the odometer here. So I haven't done, I gotten a ton of seat time on it. I've been busy with other things. Hey, hey, stop chewing on that. Um, 138 miles on it so far. So um, I've used it for uh, doing single track. I've rode some, some open roads with it um, and uh, um, used it to, for chasing cows. Um, and it's excellent for cows, uh, but um, Overall, I love this thing so much. It's like cheating when you take it out for single track. I thought that um, you know when you're hitting some logs or you know try and bump up over something, you really need that. You know, on a, on a gas bike, you spin up your flywheel and and dump your clutch, rev it out to your power band, dump your clutch, you know, to get your front end up and to get over things. I've had zero issues with that with this. It's just instant torque whenever you need it. Um, now, it is a little bit, um, you have to be careful, you know, especially when you have it um, in, uh, in the third gear, whatever you want to call it, it's the third power level, um, because it's just touchy. Uh, and you, you can just, like even just, you can get, getting on it, you can bump it and it'll just go, you know, whereas if you bump the throttle getting on your bike, it doesn't matter because it's in neutral. Um, and when you're riding a normal gas bike, um, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't, um, it, it reacts much faster than that. When you're in a gas bike, you hit the throttle, you know, even a two stroke that's pretty quick, it takes time for that throttle um, body to open and the fuel to get in and hit the cylinders and start producing power. And even then you're probably not right in the power band um, unless you happen to be dumping it at high RPMs. So, um, you know, it's with this, it's just, you touch it and all the power's right there, right away. So you have to watch out for that. Um, and, uh, but once you get used to it, like I don't even notice it anymore. Um, so this from the other side here. So, um, <clears throat> it's, I put a little phone mount on here so I can read my GPS and um, I went and, uh, Rebuilt the rear shock with the, um, uh, let's see, what's it called? The gold valve kit, which they, they give you all the specs on um, how to set it up, real straightforward. Uh, they give you all the videos and everything else and um, <clears throat> very simple to do. Huge improvement. I think I'm gonna bump up the stiffness on the rear spring um, from a 5.6 to a 5.8. It's a lowered kit, so they even like calculate for that. And I need to redo the front shocks this winter because right now those are MX shocks and, and this is the back setup for woods riding. So, um, but all in all, I love this kit. I think it's really well built. The one downside is range. Um, when it comes to range, um, I've been getting, I've seen as little as like 17 miles out of a charge. Um, this is a 48 amp hour battery. So um, if you have, they make up to a 70 amp hour battery, I think. Um, and for the 70 amp hour battery, that's the full on motocross kit where the battery fits up between, you have the, the wishbone um, aluminum frame and the battery fits up in between that wishbone. Um, I think that's what it's called. Uh, and so, you know, but you're also going to be adding a lot of extra weight. This thing is about 20 pounds heavier than a, um, uh, than, than this YZ was factory. I think it's 240 pounds. Um, I think it was 220 factory, but this is definitely 240 now. So, but you don't notice that weight like you do throwing around a bike. Like this thing, it throws, you throw it around like a, like a little 150. Um, it, it feels great. It's 
fast, it's responsive, you can stop dead on a hill and just creep right up it, or you can just spin your wheels out anytime you want. Um, <clears throat> now I've also seen as much as uh, close to 30 miles out of this too. So when I've been down to you know, 16, 17 miles out of charge, that is you know, hard single track riding, hill climbing, spinning my tires a lot, going fast. I've gone out before um, clearing single track, you know, which is a lot of burning in the track and you know, stopping, getting off, getting on. And I've spent um, you know, five or six hours out there doing that without running out of battery. So in some instances, it's all right. But if you're riding hard, spinning your tires a lot, you can get a, you can get a fast charger for it. Uh, the fast charger, I think, costs 400 bucks or so. The other thing I'd be curious about is um, the newer controller allows you to regen. I don't know how much you can regen, but I would love to have this thing regen more. Um, and it allows you to adjust, the new controller allows you to adjust the regen from an app on your phone, I believe. So, you know, if you were able to get a bigger battery in there and, um, you know, regen more, you might be able to get a lot more life out of it. But I love the bike, love the way it handles, couldn't be happier with it. So I'm gonna show you some footage of a ride. Uh, I was just out riding. Uh, it was getting closer to dark, so it might not be um, super bright, but I think, you know, you'll, you'll get a little idea of what it looks like uh, with a, a novice riding uh, some single track on this bike. Um, so yeah, here's some footage.
So I don't know if you can see how well you can see since we're down in the woods here, but this is a pretty steep hill. And I'm just going to show you how um, slow we can crawl up this thing. It's really nice because when you get stuck, you spin out, whatever, fall over, um, and you got to start out on a hillside. There's no clutching. There's no trying to get the, the throttle up into the power band and let it go. I can just crawl right up this, just slow as can be. Oops. Oh, well, I can if I don't slip. You know? That's all there is to it. This is, uh, this is how loud it is. I mean, it's just dead quiet. You can hear a little bit of electric noise and a little bit of uh, chain slap, and that's it. Getting, just starting to get a little bit too dark to be honest. Now, that was pricker bush. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Um, I hope you found this, uh, this video useful and informative about this kit um, and about the build. Uh, I, I have two other videos uh, showing a part one and a part two of Electric YZ build. Um, yeah, I think that's what the videos are called. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, leave them in the comments section below. Um, I'm pretty good about getting to, around to responding to them. Uh, if you want me to sh try and get some videos of the bike doing something else or I don't know, uh, you know, let me know. Um, and uh, if I get enough people that are interested in it, I can make another video. So thanks for watching. Um, it really helps if you subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video. So um, till next time.